The first point to note in the latest statement is that government has again failed to meet its participation targets in the domestic debt exchange program. Also, individual bondholders are free not to participate in the exercise. However, the government has an amended offer for them, hoping to entice them to participate in the debt exchange program. Individual bondholders below the age of 59 will be offered instruments with a maximum maturity of five years instead of the initial 15 years and a 10% coupon rate. Also, retirees, including those retiring this year, will be offered instruments with a maximum maturity of five years instead of the initial 15 years and a 15% coupon rate. But the most important aspect of the statement is that the deadline for bondholders to accept the offer has now been extended for the fourth time to February 7. And the settlement date is also on February 14. And that essentially means that if you agree to the program by 7th February, your new bonds will be handed over by 14th February. However, we will have to wait to see if the revised terms will be enticing enough to get bondholders to participate in the debt exchange.